Hello and welcome to previous day tutor. In this video of physics, we'll be looking at waves. Now before we go any further, we need to know the definition of a wave. So a wave is actually a disturbance in the medium. A disturbance in the medium that carries energy from one point to the other. Others they define it as just uh, an energy carrier. So it's a disturbance in the medium that carries energy from one point to the other. That's the definition of the wave. Now there are two types of waves. Uh, we have two types of waves. The longitudinal and the transverse waves. Now, the transverse wave are waves whose motion is perpendicular to the motion of the particles. What do they mean? Something perpendicular. Something perpendicular forms a right angle. Let me show this line and this line. They are forming a 90 angle there. You can see that there is a line angle being formed there. It means a perpendicular. So if the particles are vibrating in this way, upside down, or the wave is going in that direction, they are meeting like that, they are meeting like that. So whenever they meet, they are forming a 90 degree. Those are what we call the transverse waves. And examples of transverse waves are water waves. The water waves. So an example of a transverse wave, the wave also in a row. Now this is a diagram of the of um, a transverse wave. Now there are certain things that you must know in terms of a transverse wave. The first thing is what do you call this? Alright. So this is what we call a trough. So this is what we call a crest. A crest. Wow, the down one here, this from there to there. That's what we call a trough. So that's a trough. Now, from here up to here, that is what we call the wavelength. That's what we call the wavelength. Also, from here, to there so a full crest and a full trough together they form a full wave so together they form something like this where you have the, the crest up and the trough down this is a full wave so wavelength like I was saying wavelength is just the distance between two successive crests or so it can be the distance between two successive crests like that half of that or the distance between two successive troughs also so the wavelength and is measured in meters those are the units for the wavelength or from here up to there it's also a wavelength so that one must be known then also a term like period is used. What is period? Period divided by t is equal to the time taken to make one complete oscillation. So one complete oscillation, I said, is there up here. So the time is going to take to reach this point. That's what we call period. And there's also what we call frequency, which is the number of complete oscillation made in a certain time made in one second in, in fact one second one second so the number of complete oscillation made in one second that's frequent now if we say this is one this is one second here let's say the time is one second here that means the frequency which we have is only half now frequency is measured in hertz so we are going to write h and the smaller z
Then the other type of a wave is a longitudinal, not, not longitudinal, but longitudinal wave. These are longitudinal waves that are waves whose particles move parallel to the wave motion. So the wave motion is going this direction, also the particles are going this same direction. Yes, these are parallel because they don't meet. Now, a longitudinal wave is divided into two, it's, it has got two parts. It has got the C part and the R part. The C part, the C, what to call the compression. These are regions where there is maximum density. Make sure you know. And you have the R region, which we call the R fraction. These are regions where a fraction. These are regions. So compression, they are regions where the particles are closed together. You can see here that the particles are closer together. Or the refractions, the regions where the particles are far away from each other. Examples of longitudinal waves are sound waves. Sound waves are good examples of longitudinal waves. So let's look at one example. The question says the diagram below represents a transfer wave between which two marked points is the distance equal to the wavelength or the wave. We, lo we look at wavelength. That wavelength, if I have a wave like this, it can be the distance from there to there. Or if I have something like this, it will be the distance from there to there. Or I can have something like this. It can also be the distance from there to here. So as long as they are making the same difference, so there is no problem with that. So for this one, they are saying A and D. Look where A is and D is. This is not a wavelength because this is this is the only a crest, not even another crest. C and G. Look at C and G. The first thing that should actually make you understand about wavelength is that measure from there to where the other trough ends. It ends here. You can see that from 0 to 8 here, the, the number, the difference is 8. That means even with other letters that you get, should give you also 8. So, what do you do? What do you do? Since we know that the difference is 8, one of the wavelengths is from 0 to 8. What of the other one? A and D, if it has not gone, C and G also. What of B and B and G? Because remember, C and G, C is here, which we don't know, and G is 9. So the difference actually don't give you 8. But, what of B and G? B is here, 1, and G is here, 9. 9 minus 1 will give you 8. So we can keep that. So we can put a dot there. E and F. Where is E? E is here on 5. F is on 8. The difference between 8 and 5 is 3. It won't give you 8. So the answer is C, which has given us 8. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Peter Tutor. I'll see you in the next video on the webs.